Kirk Stoner, what's up, man? Gonna wait here a few minutes. Uh, thanks for, if you're on the replay. Thanks for joining us. And uh, gonna talk about abundant thinking, kind of what it does, what what the possible having possibilities in your life, what that'll do for you. Isaac Sinos, Sinros, I think I pronounced it right. Thanks for joining. So hey guys, we're gonna talk a little bit about abundant thinking. And if you're on the replay again, thanks for joining us. I'm not gonna. This isn't gonna be too long. What's up? What's up, Kirk? Thanks for joining, man. Thanks for the support. All right. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and flip around. So how are we all doing today? Are you guys all fantastic? You having a great uh, Saturday here? Wanted to share my view. Love this view, guys. This is like the best. Wake up every morning and get to look at this and it makes me realize uh, how fortunate I am and thankful and blessed and uh, that the only way to get here is with abundant thinking. So I wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about abundant thinking. Um, where is this? Well, this is beautiful Lake Tahoe. So we're in the Nevada side up in Zephyr Cove, but uh, we have California and Zephyr Cove here. Beautiful, beautiful place to be, a beautiful spot to be, and it all starts with abundant thinking. So what is abundant thinking? Abundant thinking is like basically taking any any idea you have that you feel like you're limiting yourself or something like that, or you feel limited, a uh, great place for skiing, absolutely. Any Anytime you feel like you're limiting yourself, you're not thinking abundant. And so what I wanted to do is help you guys think about where your limits are and then what where is the next level. Where would you you know believe that you can you can achieve something greater and then how can you how can you build and attain a base uh, based off of that so limitless thinking that's what it comes down to oh hi crazy Carl <laughs> exactly what I needed today awesome Dave Gavick hope you're having a fantastic day in Vegas man uh, hey guys follow him he's uh, I hope he starts doing scopes he's actually a trainer for a lot of MMA stars and fighters and he's one of my good friends down in Vegas the, uh, he's got a, he's got an awesome gym and a huge facility. It's called the Hybrid Man. So if you guys follow him, uh, definitely get a get a shout out to him. But yeah, man, abundant thinking. Think about it, guys. Wherever your limits are, even uh, even sometimes we we look at our own selves and we feel stuck, and it's because we work so much. Sometimes we work for someone else or we work for ourselves or whatever the case may be. But we're stuck because we feel like in a normal eight-hour day or even ten-hour day, there's nothing else we can do. But there is something you can do. There are solutions to those problems. You just got to get yourself out of your own box. You know, everybody says think outside the box. Think inside the box about how you can get outside the box. So, you know, that's the best thing you can do is think about how you can <clears throat> how you can get out of that situation if you're, if, if you're feeling stuck, for one, or how you can get more people to help you with your vision. That's the other key is that, you know, you got to bring people with you. There was a saying that I heard a long time ago that really resonates with me like every single day. If you want to go somewhere fast, take yourself. If you want to take, if you want to go further, take people with you, <clears throat> or redesign the box. Totally, bro. <clears throat> yeah. So, if you want to redesign the box, you totally could redesign the box. Um, you know, I think I was on Caleb Maddox's uh, uh, Periscope this morning, and he talked about something his dad said. So I'll bring this up. Uh, like the topic. Hope it's well. Thanks, Joe. Um, he talked about what's stronger. His dad said this to one of his coaching clients, and I'll bring this up here. I'm going to use it. I'm going to steal it from him. He said that what what uh, what's stronger, a fish or a lion? And then, of course, everybody says the lion's stronger. It'll kill a fish, blah, blah, blah. He goes, yeah, but now if you take a lion and you stick it in a bowl of water or you stick it in the ocean and you put him underwater, how long is he going to live? He's not going to live very long. Now, if you take a fish and you take him out of the water and you put him in, out in the oxygen air, he's not going to live very well. So change your environment by changing your environment you could open yourself up to limitless opportunities to abundant thinking to big thinking thinking big so that's kind of my challenge today is for everybody is that believe in yourself believe that there's a there's limitless possibilities that you can get yourself into better situations no matter what your current situation is in right now you can find ways to, to the, the biggest problems of your life ask your start asking yourself these questions start asking yourself what is my biggest um, what's my biggest problem today and if you have a huge problem that you're facing keep asking yourself how do what's the best solution what's the best solution whatever the mind conceives will achieve your mind your subconscious mind whatever you feed your subconscious mind 
that is what your mind starts going to work for you almost immediately almost immediately your mind starts going to work for you and it starts you start finding solutions and one of the biggest solutions that I found for me for for some of my my things is to find people that would align themselves and align their visions into my vision and a lot of times with the way I would do that is whenever I would hire someone brand new to work with me I would ask them what are their dreams like what are their dreams what is something that you want to do in life then I'd ask them what kind of income what's up Faye uh, Kanzukak, I think I pronounced it right, but thanks for joining us. I would ask them, what's their, what kind of income would they need to survive on? What kind of income would they uh, be comfortable with? And what kind of income do they dream about? Those, so those three questions, when I hire someone, I always ask them those three questions. And then I find out, okay, well, how can I align my vision into their vision? So if I find out what they would, what they'd love to make, what they'd be comfortable to make, and then I'd find out what they would love to dream to make, and I find out how can I align myself with that. So what could they do for me that would help me produ provide income for them so that they can they can follow they can make those dreams happen. And then if I felt like I couldn't pr uh, produce that for them, I possibly wouldn't work with them, or I would try to inspire them in some direction where they could either bring on another type of income. It really depends too. But most of the jobs that I've always offered people or have uh, sales or have. Um, income producing like opportunities where it's based off of how well they produce so like if they're producing at a high value for our company then I want to pay them very well so that's basically my message today though guys is that limitless thinking and to think abundant that there's a huge vast of of wealth knowledge freedom every everything you have ever wanted your dreams everything you ever wanted is out there you just gotta go out there and get it you gotta take your fire to the to the bonfire you can't wait for the bonfire to come to you you have to actually sniff it out and then go to it and then be like hey this is what I'm doing and you know what people fall over truly we live in abundance we do abundance is everywhere guys it, that we're just limiting ourselves from what's possible all of the possibilities that are out there we're just straight up limiting ourselves our own beliefs our own mind and our own chatter are we're holding our ourselves back I always say that what's holding us back is this this is what's holding us back is our ourselves this hand is holding me back because I can't reach further than what this hand can reach uh, rectangular activation system yeah I think that's R A S, -S or something like that but anyway we're holding ourselves back guys and so that's my message is that you guys need to start thinking differently you gotta think of what Raz yep yep back here the razzle dazzle baby you got it man you know exactly we're on the same level this is probably why you're on the periscope because we're actually we're actually communicating somewhere on a subconscious level so that's something I talked about on a different um, a different uh, uh, training that I did on here on periscope but uh, the Raz man I'm, I'm, I'm so stoked that you actually brought that up you know what you're talking about the first first time here <laughs> awesome thanks man let me follow you back actually real quick keep it up view profile awesome Sam Fisher right on brother I just got you I just I just followed you man so this is what my message is about too Sam I always like to come on come on here and bring some type of motivation I like to interview people that I know that are very successful I've got a lot of friends that are successful and uh, I'm also just so you guys know a little bit about me for the people that haven't been here before is that uh, thanks Isaac for joining us back is that uh, I'm actually been in I've been in sales most of my life but the last uh, 15 years took it onto a professional view, became an insurance agent, and then started building a, thanks, thanks bro, then started uh, building a large sales force with a, a big corporate company, and then after that I ended up starting my own business, we have our own marketing agency. Uh, then I became a software developer, and then I became an online marketer, and also my family owns a, a restaurant here in Zephyr Cove, so got a lot of different uh, funnels of income coming in my direction. I'm a firm believer too, by the way, is that you need to be focusing on getting your first five income streams and then just start 10xing it from there. So it's just it's all like a big part of the part of the message that I have. But today, really, I just want to focus on being abundant. I want you guys to think about how to be abundant and uh, how to open up your mind to other possible possibilities. Because if you start as soon as you start saying that I can't do something, that's that's where your limits are. Because you're going to be like, oh, I can't do that. Because you don't know how to look past that can't. Even no matter what, no matter who is in, in your environment, it could be a family member, it could be a friend, it could be 
um, of the house, the, the community, the whatever around you. It could be that space around you. But you guys have the mind's right eye to control, to actually redesign it. But it starts with starting to plan. And uh, I did one, I did a, a Periscope a couple days ago where I talked about thinking about, instead of thinking about the past and using uh, letting it hold you back, but start thinking about the future. Because for whatever reason, as a human defunction that we have, is we have an issue with thinking about forward. Whatever it is, I'm not really sure what it is. Break out of the nine, nine to five, yeah. Yeah, Joe, I always talk about my income income streams, bro. And last time I wrote it down, you wanted me to talk about branding. So I'll definitely be talking about that soon. So thinking in the future, right? You guys got to think about instead of behind you, what's holding you back? Everything that's behind you is behind you. So it's holding you back. They say that uh, samurais wear their, um, would wear all their guards in front of them. And they'd always leave their, their back blank because they were actually going forward. They're not going backwards. So if you think about the past, it's, even if it was good or bad, um, you're just that's just holding you back. You got to think about about how did the past improve me, and then how can I improve myself going forward. So the best thing to do is think about what you can do in two years, or five years from now, and then how you could do it in less time or half the time. You can, you can do it if you just get the right people on the ship, the right people on the bus. If you've read the book Good to Great, I think it's Tom Collins. I think that's his name. Um, he talks about getting the right people on the bus. So if you can get the right people on the bus. And then once you have them on the bus, you put them in the right positions. So like, I like to use the analogy of the ship. So if you have a guy that's controlling the, um, you know, the steering, that guy's controlling the steering. He's perfect for, for direction of where we're going. You've got one guy that's controlling the power. So he's really good at controlling how much force you're going to push forward at that point and then how much you're going to back off. And then you have another guy that's controlling like uh, weaponry and stuff like that. Then you have a guy that's actually aiming in, in each little thing. So if you think about the ship, who is, uh, who's the person on your ship, who's steering, who's in, who's in control of every little process and making sure that they're in that process built based off of their strengths. And then whatever their weaknesses are, you got to find out what their weaknesses are and see if you can help them turn their weaknesses in their, into their strengths. And if they can't, then just build upon their strengths. Always build upon their strengths. You're going to go further. You're going to go way, way further. So guys, think abundant, think big, think great. Get that Raz turned on in the back of your head. Uh, critical mass, man. That's that's the thing. Is start listening to other periscopes, other people that that are on the same wavelength, and then we'll all buzz together on the same frequency. We'll all link our frequencies together, and we'll just start pushing each other up. And we've got something that we're working on behind the scenes that I'm really excited about, but I can't I can't give it to you today. But it's definitely going to be big, and it has to do with periscope, and it has to do with communities and tribes and stuff like that. So be on the lookout for that. I hope you guys like this one. Um, again, thanks for joining and being a part of this. If you guys ever do, definitely heart it up, share, and uh, definitely make sure to be part of the message. And I'll uh, follow you guys too if you guys want me to. I'll follow you and I'll inspire you or, or I'll just help give you. I'll, I'll join the community and help help you guys out with your periscopes as well. So anyway, have a fantastic Saturday. Today's beautiful out, so I don't know how many much longer we're going to have of this. You know, obviously summer is winding down and we're getting into fall. And then uh, this hopefully we'll be doing some periscopes out here and I'll be all bundled up in my snowboard equipment and we'll be looking at the snow and I'll, maybe I can even take you guys on the mountain a few times. Should be a lot of fun. And uh, that's it. Before I go though, um, does anybody have any questions? I know Joe, you asked a question about my, my income streams. I'm going to probably make that an actual periscope. Are you guys running a clone program in Chris's new office? <laughs> a clone program. I like that. Yeah. Well, so the thing is, Kirk, is I was talking about, um, so you're, you're one of the mastermind members for Chris, which is awesome. But the, the thing is, I was thinking, I was talking about was frequency. Have you ever noticed that people that are very, um, very good at what they do and pick things up super fast and then they're good at, they're good at teaching it and getting it out to the world really quickly by repurposing it or putting it on different types of media outlets. That's what I'm talking about. I'm not even there yet. The, the thing is, is it's a paradigm shift of frequencies and levels. You've learned a lot. Uh, appreciate your scopes. Awesome. Thanks, Kirk. Um, the, a paradigm shift, guys, is that you got to tune yourself up to higher levels of frequencies, energies, okay? I believe in energy. I'm a big energy type of person. I, I, I believe in the, the supernatural being as an energy, and I'm, I'm really big about frequencies because I can tell that people... 
level up at certain frequencies in their life and they get better and they get bigger or they be, or they get super low. And I think of it like if you're a very emotional person and you think of it yourself when you have emotional highs and emotional lows, think of those as frequencies. But if you can control the frequency of getting yourself absolutely high and keeping yourself there, I mean, people like Grant Cardone, people like Chris Record, people like Tony Robbins, I mean, big thinkers and big people that have can control of that energy and that frequency, that's what I'm talking about. That's where you need to get yourself to. That's where I'm constantly improving myself, trying to get myself into it. And one of the ways that I think that has helped me is that I've been getting myself more involved and I've been hanging out with people that are on those levels. Because like, like my friend, my new friend here was talking about the Raz. Yeah, buddy. Yeah. Got to work out, man. Go get your workout. This guy right here was talking about the Raz. That's it. You got to get yourself around people that are in that same frequency. Body is a subconscious, is the subconscious mind. Awesome, man. I can't wait to watch some of your periscopes. So, so guys, that's it for my message. Again, I hope you loved it. Heart, share, do all that stuff. But uh, we'll see you guys on the next one. I'm on a hundred uh, pers or a hundred periscope challenge. So I'm just going to continue to get these better and, and continue to get more and more and more of these out here to the world. So, again, thanks for joining us, and uh, we'll see you all soon. And uh, remember to share it, guys. This is this is part of being on that Raz, and this is part of sharing ideas that help people uh, grow themselves and become a better person. So we have to share each other's message. All right, have a great day. Bye.